we're looking for the value of t uh, the y coordinate of point a right but it is easy to see that point a lies on the line a f and we're given an equation for that line so for 3.1.1 we can say that y is equals to minus x minus 11 right and then now we can go ahead and substitute our coordinate a in the equation right if we do that in place of y we're gonna put t and then in place of x we're gonna put minus one and then minus 11 so t is a constant so minus multiplied by minus one will give you plus one right and then minus 11 so now it's easy to see that t is a constant minus 10 right so just like that <coughs> we have our two marks for 3.1.1 uh, let's go ahead and do 3.1.2 so we're looking for the size of this angle alpha that is right here right uh, that is our angle of inclination and we know that to find an angle of inclination we can easily say that uh, tan of theta is equals to the gradient so we have tan of uh, alpha being equal to the gradient of that line uh, is the line EF, right? And then the gradient is given here in our equation. We know that uh, we have Y. So let me just put M here. We know that we have Y is equal to minus X minus 11. And then the general format or the general form of a straight line is Y is equals to m x plus c so it's easy to see that our gradient is minus one the coefficient of x so we're gonna have tan of alpha being equals to minus one so alpha is equals to tan inverse of minus uh one right so now it's just a matter of putting that in my calculator so that i can see uh, what i get so i'm getting minus 45 so our angle is minus 45 but we have to add 180 if it is negative right and then if you add 180 you're gonna get uh 135 degrees so right uh the size of that angle is 135 degrees we're just using the fact that tan of theta is equal to the gradient of that line right and then moving to 3.1.3 so 3.1.3 is saying that uh, let's calculate the gradient of ac so we're looking for the gradient of ac to the nearest whole number so here we're doing the opposite we're given the angle and we are supposed to find the gradient right we are doing the same thing we did in 3.1.2 but then now the variables are just switched around so we can say that tan of theta is equal to the gradient instead of finding the gradient or instead of finding theta like we're doing in 3.1.2 here we find in the gradient so we're going to say that tan of our angle is 63.43 is equal to m so let me just um go ahead and say tan of 63.43 uh, is giving me two right so our gradient seems to be two so m is equal to two uh, that is 3.1.3 yeah i think uh, up to so far there isn't been anything that is so complicated let's see what the following questions say so 3.2 determine the equation of ac in the form y is equal to mx plus k so ac is this line here like i've said the general form uh is y is equals to m x plus some constant here yeah, let's let our constant be k right because that's what the uh, the question is requiring of us so we already have the gradient we calculated it in 3.1.3 right so we can go ahead and say that y is equals to 2x plus k now we just need to find the value of k how do we do that we substitute a point on that line a is a point on the line af and is a point on the line ac so again here yeah, uh, we can substitute a so a is minus one and t but now we know what t is 
t is minus 10 we have already calculated that so we're gonna have minus 10 being equals to 2 multiplied by minus 1 plus k so minus 10 is equals to minus 2 plus k it's easy to see that uh, minus 8 is equals to k right so y is equals to 2x minus a right we can substitute the x value of a and see if we're going to get minus 10. Uh, if we substitute the value of um the x value of a we're going to get 2 multiplied by minus 1 minus 8 minus 2 minus 8 is equals to minus 10. so it seems like we have the right equation because it works at that point right so that is 3.3 let's go ahead and do 3.3.1 so 3.3 uh, 3.3.1 we're looking for the coordinates of c we're looking for the coordinates of c yeah uh, c is up here we're looking for the coordinates of c so let me just tell you something uh the distance from a to b is equal to the distance from b to c so b is the midpoint of the line ac right uh we know uh the y value of b is zero right because it is an x intercept so what we can do is to find the x value of b using the equation we calculated in 3.2 right of the line ac so we can say that y is equal to qx minus a uh, we know that we have an equation for that line it's y is equals to 2x minus 8 yeah i'm just trying to make that clear if anyone was a bit lost so if we sub uh, b uh, the x value is unknown and the y value is zero right so we're gonna have zero being equals to qx minus 8 so take a to the other side you're gonna get 8 is equals to to x it's easy to see now that x is equals to 4 so b has coordinates 4 and 0 and it is the midpoint of uh, ac right uh, so in order for us to calculate uh, the x value of c we can say that x of b is equals to x of a plus x of c divided by 2 what is x of b that's 4 x of a minus 1 plus x of c divided by 2 it's easy to see now that we're solving for x of c if we cross multiply we're gonna get 8 is equal to minus 1 plus x of c so 9 is equal to x of c we have x of c now so again we can use the midpoint uh, we can use this idea uh, for the y values and find um, y of c right or we can just substitute this coordinate into our equation so let's use both and see if we get to the same place so again here let's say um, x of not x but y we want y now uh, y of b is equals to y of a plus y of c divided by so y of b uh, that is uh, 0 y of a is minus 10 yeah yeah it's minus 10 yeah it is and then plus y of c divided by 2 so if we cross multiply 0 multiply by 2 that is 0 so minus 10 plus y of c so 10 is equals to y of c so the coordinates of c we have 9 for the x value and 10 for the y value but let's substitute this coordinate into the equation for that line so the equation of that line says 2x minus 8 right so we're gonna have 2 multiplied by uh, x we say in that is 9 and then minus 8 2 multiplied by 9 that is 18 minus 8 is equals to 10 so yeah we get um y is equals to 10 using both of those two ways right that's that's uh what that is 9 point not 9 but 3.3.1 right um getting fatigued i must be getting a little bit tired 3.3.2 uh, let's find the size of 
F E D F E D so this entire angle F E D right so we want F E D so what can we do here so right we can find this angle here which is part of F E D right by saying 180 minus angle alpha right so let's say that we're gonna be able to compute that we know we can but yeah now let's look at this part how can we find the size of that angle uh, that's you know what we have to think about now we are told that uh, the line DE is parallel to the line AB. If those lines are parallel, then that angle should be equal to this angle right here. They are corresponding angles, right? So let's go back to that first angle. So we know that alpha is 135. If alpha is 135 and the sum of angles on a straight line is 180, then this angle here should be 45 degrees. All right, and then uh, the other angle we have 63.43 right here. We have 63.43, and then because of uh, vertical opposite angles, uh, this angle right here should also be equal to 63.43. So now we can replace this angle and write. 63.43 so now uh, we are done we can say that FED is equal to 45 plus 63.43 I'm getting 108.3 degrees and that is FED uh, let's move to the last question uh, G is a point such that EAGC in that order is a parallelogram determine the equation of a circle centered at g and passing through our point b uh, write your answer in the form y minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared right i'm so much interested in how you guys solve this equation so please just let me know in the comments